Welcome back. Wednesday night edition of Inside the Headset. We're sponsored and on the air by John Jones, John Jones Real Estate. Bring on a coach from Memphis. He's currently 1-1. One and one. Uh, he, he beat Memphis Central. That was on a Saturday, but last Friday night he got in a tough one and lost 26-19 to to Tupelo. We bring live and on the air the head coach of the Memphis Whitehaven Tigers, head coach Rodney Salisbury. How you doing tonight, coach? I'm doing great, Stuck. How you doing? Doing all right, doing all right. Well, you've had the Tigers out and running. Let's talk about the first game. You, uh, We didn't get a chance to talk that first week. You've been busy trying to run middle school and freshmen and everything else. Memphis Central it came away a big win, 34 to nothing. I hate to turn that page back, but it is a win. Let's talk a little bit about it. That was the first Friday night two weeks ago. Oh, yeah, it was a uh, great opportunity. Saturday. It was on season. Saturday. It was on Saturday, sorry. Yeah, on Saturday, yeah. Great job kicking off the season. Um, very competitive game. And our guys came to play again. Just obviously just a lot of first game mistakes with a lot of penalties and things of that nature. So uh, a lot of things we had to clean up. Uh, so, again, we're excited about the guys and the way they performed. The run game really picked up well. And we're, and that opened up the passing game. And the defense did their job and we were able to get a shutout on that first game. Uh, you know, so this quarterback, you've been, are you still got the same quarterback you had last year? Yes, sir. Okay. So this is the one that was a sophomore two years ago, right? Yeah. All right. Well, so, no, he was, he was, a he was a sophomore last year and now he's a junior this okay, year. Okay. So, okay. Yeah, All right. I just want to make sure. Okay. So he's sophomore last year. Junior. How much has he grown up coach? He has, he's grown up, you know, still just uh, playing fundamentally sound. Uh, and that's a big thing is just, just doing this job. And sometimes uh, we try to make sure, you, hey, sometimes you got to cut outside the line. So we want to try to make him, hey, be a little, uh, take a little chances every now and then. But he's doing a great job of being very sound and, uh, and take care of, taking care of the football and also just doing, doing the job that's needed on offense. Well, you talked a little bit about that run game. I'd like to peel that layer back a little bit more. Your arsenal back there, are they young or you got several guys? You got several money guys that can take it? Or uh, what, what What are you looking at that are back there? We got several guys that can run the ball, but we're we're led by our, our bell cow, Christopher Talley. Uh, he's a junior, and uh, he's a guy that really can uh, make a difference. I mean, he's a home run hitter. Uh, he's a state champion in the 110 hurdles uh, from last year as a sophomore. Uh, so he has speed, and he can really he can turn a, a small game to a long game really quick. So he's really explosive. So we're really excited at what Chris Vitale and what he brings to the table. Well, Coach, you know, you're one and one, and you're fixing to take on Arlington. They're in, in, and you got that big region over there. You got Houston and Haywood and, and Bartlett and got all those other two, Germantown. Everybody's over there lurking, and they want to bust you in the mouth. You know, and, and you got to crawl out of that region. The only good thing about it is week four, whoever can prevail out of your area, uh, the Williamson County will be coming to you. This is a tasty year for you guys. You, you, you really want – I mean, the goal is, is to get to that week four and, and have a chance to go, go to Chattanooga, isn't it? Oh, definitely. Again, when, you, when it takes that way where the home field is on your side, you just want to position yourself to get to that third and fourth round where you can uh, get the games on your side and be able to host those games. Um, but our region is tough. We say it's like the SEC of, of 6A because uh, we've got some very tough teams in our league. And that's why we play tough games like playing Tupelo, uh, one of the top teams in Mississippi, because it's going to get you ready for the challenge we have in our region. Uh, the Tupelo game, what did you learn about the Memphis Whitehaven Tigers? I mean, uh, were they? Uh, was you, did you get a little bit out? Did you mistake? Did you shoot yourself in the foot? Did you make a mistake? Was it one one play away? You were a winner, or what happened there? Oh yeah, it was, uh, we definitely learned it that we're our only. We can beat ourselves if we make mistakes. But we knew that we learned how to fight. And I was really proud of our guys. They never gave up. They never quit. We actually went up, started the game uh, really well, uh, actually gave up a touchdown on a kickoff return. And we tell guys that little things are um, little things that statistically always work out. If you give up a, a return game touchdown, a lot of times it's hard to win. If you lose a turnover battle, a lot of times it's hard to win. So those two things kind of bit us in the butt. Had a couple of mistakes putting the ball on the ground. And we couldn't take advantage of the times we had a chance to get the ball on the ground for them. So we created uh, some fumbles on their side, but we weren't able to get them. And when we fumbled the ball a couple of times, they were able to get them. So 
Uh, just those little little small things, uh, turn the ball over and, and special teams. We had some special teams pluses on our side, but giving up the kick return for a touchdown really hurt us, and that was really a difference in the ball game. Yeah, that special teams, and you know, we were talking about that. I was talking about that with one of the other coaches the other day. You know, it's it's one of those things you just got to watch for because it, it, if they hit it, it's a big hit. It's a big hit for them, and 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 it's a game changer, especially in the second half. If they if they block a punt and they and they're able to take it in and score, or like you said, a kickoff return or anything like that, uh, man, what a what a just huge game swing. Oh, definitely momentum again. Anytime you're dealing with this age group, and it even goes through even college football, those momentum swings uh, really matter. So you really. And we tell people that special teams is a one hitter. Is a one hitter. You don't get any do overs. There's no second down for special teams. You got to make it happen on that play, and it's it's something that you got to execute when it's that time. And when you don't, it really can change the game. So uh, we've been honing in on that this week, and just knowing as we get ready to get into deep in the region play, that special teams play has to be a big thing. Arlington awaits you next, and uh, you need to beat these guys. You need to get to two and one. What's it going to take, coach? Uh, just execution. Uh, again, our job, again, they, they like to throw the ball around a lot. They run a lot of spread offense. So defensively, we got to make sure that we're aware of all the things we got to do, make sure we put pressure on the quarterback. Uh, so defensively, it's a big game for us. And then offensively, just take care of the football and execute. All right, so that's, that's a big game this week for us. Again, just to get back to us. Uh, again, we say it's us versus us. Um, Arlington is just the next opponent. But we got to make sure that we're not our own opponent and defeating ourselves by making mistakes, penalties, and turnovers. And just play sound, fundamental football. And we're excited about what we can do this Friday. Coach, we wish you the best of luck. Stay safe Friday night with your travels. And we'll see you soon. I appreciate it so much. Hey, see you, Coach.